In this video, I'll be showing you all the setups that I use for sculpting in Nomad Sculpt. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Danto and it's good to have you here once again. Well, in this video, I'll be showing you all the setups that I use in sculpting with Nomad Sculpt. The reason why I did this video is for you beginners just starting on Nomad Sculpt, wanting to know how to set up your whole interface. I'm going to be showing you everything and how I set up Nomad Sculpt to get me ready for sculpting. Now, there are no much changes that I make to the default settings. Now, if you scroll over to your interface right here and you click on perspective now you can see a perspective button has been turned on right here at the bottom now when i remove it you see it's turned off but when i click on it it's turned on so that is something that you want to have there i always like to turn off photographic snap now if you go over to your camera settings right here you can see that photographic snap is turned on for most of you it may be turned off but if it's turned on you notice that whenever you click on your front view it snaps to the front view whenever it snaps to the front view your perspective turns off it's not comfortable for me whenever i'm sculpting and it snaps to the front view so i always like to turn that off you can't really see what changes it makes from this sphere so i'm just going to change this let's bring in something and you can really see what i'm doing let me bring this in if i click on the front view it snaps to the front view and whenever i move it over to another view it changes to the perspective view so that is how it really works and i don't really like it snapping to photographic views so what i like doing is going over to my camera view and turning it off so that whenever i go to my front view it does not snap to the photographic view one other thing that i like doing is adjusting my viral scale of the interface you have to go over to your interface right here let's go to the bottom and just I like turning everything down your font scale the vertical spacing then the panel width at all these settings right here i don't do more changes if you go over to your settings and you scroll over to snap cube you can see the different shape of your snap cube now you can decide to turn it off but depend on what you want i like turning it on whenever i'm sculpting i like making use of the gizmo this is the gizmo that you have in blender and yeah i think uh, it's something that i'm really happy to see that is in nomad sculpt now so now you can see, you move to your side view your front view your top view if you are a left-handed person and you're sculpting with nomad sculpt well it's very good to experiment with these settings to see the one that is more comfortable for you when sculpting with nomad sculpt now if you click on mirror top bar you can see that it changes the position of these bars now it mirrors the top bars the one at the left hand side became the one at the right hand side so it just mirrors the old settings now when you uncheck that it brings it back to the same position so if you are a left-handed person or you are more comfortable making use of these tools on the other side well these settings can actually help you to be more comfortable with it likewise mirror side bars mirror side bars does the same thing just mirrors the left-handed bars to the right hand side so that's just what it does the same with your bottom bar it mirrors it and takes it to the other side so i prefer to leave it this way now you can also have outline selected this is also very good for you sculpting a normal sculpt well if you want your mesh that you're working with mostly when you're dealing with curves and you're duplicating and you want to really know the particular one you're working on i'll rather turn it off my brush is right here i like arranging them in a in a way that is more comfortable for me to sculpt my favorite brushes that i use mostly in sculpting i like bringing them up so that instead of me scrolling to the top to get my brush i can just assess them if you're using a bigger tablet you can always keep it like this so that your brushes and everything will be more visible for you to work with now how you do it is just by clicking on this and you have everything in place for you to sculpt this now i like moving my inflate brush upward taking it upward right here and having it like this my focal length i like keeping it on 10 whenever i'm sculpting i like putting it on 10 because when you're rotating your mesh uh i don't really like that weird uh rotation where you set your focal length to something high like 78 then you're rotating it so you're getting this this uh look 
uh, I don't really like this uh, well most of the times it's not bad but depends on what you want but uh, really sculpting with this focal length for me is not something that uh, will give me a good result so if I'm doing a render if I'm rendering a character definitely I can experiment with this but uh, I like to keep it to the lowest which is 10 so that I can really get good shapes and uh, get good uh, looking character. The background color, I like keeping it to something dark. I don't like something really bright or something yellowish. I don't really like those colors. But I like keeping it to something not very dark, not very bright. So if you enjoyed this video, uh, just let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. Tell me what you think. I know I've not been uploading content for some time now. I've been uh, going through a lot. Uh, these past few months and i'll be going through a lot and uh yeah it's good to be back guys and i'll be creating videos for you guys i got so many recommendations for you guys on tutorials you want me to do but now guys i'm back and i'll creating those tutorials for you guys so well if you're a beginner then welcome guys welcome once again it's good to have you here and make sure to subscribe to my channel so you won't mix out when my video comes up and i'll be making more beginner tutorial for you guys just getting into normal talk for the first time to help you understand how to make use of these tools to get you uh, ready for sculpting now there are so other character tutorial that i'll be releasing shortly but thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video